What's wrong with you? Why are you crying? Nothing You can't be fine and have tears in your eyes. What is it? You know you can always talk to me. Talk to me, what is it? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. Why do tears and talk to me? What is it? Oh, Miss Jake. He's not picking my calls. He doesn't want to see me. He doesn't call me. I don't know. Maybe everything is different. I don't want to be anything without him, Mom. I can't. I love him. Where did he go wrong? I don't know. I don't want it that way, Mom. Have you tried calling him? Several times. Mommy, he, he's always a million miles away from me, even when we are together. I love him, Mom. Is he having an affair? Okay. I don't care. I don't care. I don't want to know more. All I want is my check back. All I want is just my check. It seems you love him so much. But does he love you the way you do? Maybe he used to, but things changed. And he's behaving differently. You should go to him and find out why he's behaving the way he's behaving. Hmm? It is normal to have crisis in relationships. And you should learn how to deal with them because they will make you stronger. Mom, what if, what if Jake doesn't love me anymore? What will I do? What will I do? I want to die. No, you won't die. You can tell someone to love you. You can ask someone to love you. You can as well tell you someone to love you. But never you. Never you beg anybody to love you. Because if you do, you will continue begging to sustain that love. Or do you want to live the rest of your life begging? Eh? I love you so much, Mom. In my life. Go to him and find out why he's behaving the way he's behaving. If he says he wants to call off the relationship, fine, let him. Oh, mommy, let him. I know it will hurt. But later, in life, no, mommy, you will be grateful that to end. It's okay. it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, my dear. It's okay. Mommy, let me die. No, I love Jake so much. I know you're the only thing I have. Mommy, you should give my Jim back. I love him. I know. I don't want to leave him with much Jake. What's happening to me? What's happening to you? We are running out of control. What happened to love? What happened to trust? What happened to our heart and soul? Now everything is upside down. You've turned me inside out. We must report we have sold. Life will never be the same. Sacrifice, I'll pay any price 
to be in your shoes Love has not been fair to me Who's gonna take the blame? Where there is life there is hope I'll never give you hope There's trouble in paradise Confusion is all finished being stuck up with your work. My love. Now you're being offered to me. Baby, you know how demanding my job is. Mostly now that I've been moved from one office to another. And despite all odds, I still call and find time to visit. Look, Kella, I'm very busy right now. Okay? I don't have time to discuss anything. Jake, we are going to have to discuss this issue right here and now. What is going on? Kella. Jake, we are drifting far away from each other Kella. every day. Listen to me. I've got things to sort out. Okay? It's like I'm being caged here. I, I, I need to breathe. I need air. I need to sort out things with my life. You know, I, 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 I need space. Please. Jake. I love you. I will give you a week. Or even a month. As long as... All this ends. Kella, we need a break. It's like we're not communicating. We need a break. And I don't know how long this break will be. Jake, I... I don't understand you. What are you saying? Kella, don't get me wrong, okay? You're very beautiful. You're intelligent. You're smart. You're homely. You are beautiful. Any man that has you as a wife would count himself very lucky. But see, that man is not me. No, no, no. Please, I beg you. I beg you, go to my love and see that, please. You know what? There's no I point whipping up a dead no. horse. Kella, it's over. No, my love, don't see that. Don't see you know that. what? I know you know the way out. Go to Jake. Jake, 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 I beg you. Please. Excuse me. Excuse me. Lisa, what's wrong with you? Why are you still thinking about all this? Ini, Winifred, leave me alone, please. I am your friend, Lisa, and I cannot leave you alone. I can't sit down here and watch you kill yourself. I mean, it's, it's obvious that the both of them are in love with you. Yeah? I mean, these days you don't really have to love the person 100%. Just search your heart and look for who loves you more and who can meet your every need. That's all you need, girl. So. What exactly am I supposed to do? Put both of them to a test? No. Just search your heart. Who treats you more like a queen? 
who adores you and who can miss every of your need. You've practically been with the both of them. And you should be able to tell the difference right now. I'm just, I'm so, I'm, I'm, I'm just I'm so confused. I don't even know what to do. I just wish Raymond hadn't traveled. I would have just married him even if he didn't have money. Wake up from your slumber, girl. I mean, Raymond traveled out of this country to America since our year two in the university. Look, you better put your life together and move on because he's already forgotten about you. Just settle the issue and go on. You'll be okay. You know what? This whole thing, it makes me hungry. I have to go and get food. Kayla, I am sorry it has to come through this. Hmm? I wish there was something I could do to me when the pain is gone. Hmm? My child, I know it hurts, but it will soon be over, okay? Am I not beautiful enough? How could Jake do this to me, Mom? How could he? How could Jake break up with me, Mom? After all the love I showed him, How could he be so wicked, Mom? How could he do this? My dear, you're the most beautiful woman on earth. I want to be. Eh? Jake was just too blind to see that. The man with the right eyes will come very soon. Okay? If any man leaves you for another woman, he simply doesn't deserve someone as good as you. Okay? Oh, I love Jake. Trust me, you'll be fine. I love Jake. You'll be fine. Let me get to your food. I can never be okay? fine. I'm not hungry. Jake, food is ready. What's Let's eat. To me? What's to you? Jake, I said food is ready. Let's eat. We are running out of control. What happened to love? What happened to love? What sort of behavior do you call this thing you're exhibiting? Excuse me, I've had a very rough day. I'm tired, if you don't mind. Look, we cannot continue being like strangers inside this house alone. We need to thrash this thing out now. I have absolutely nothing to thrash out with you. Yes, you do! You have a wonderful woman like Kayla in your life. And now you want to ruin my life with the woman I love? What kind of rubbish is that? Listen, nobody has a right to tell me who I should be with or who I shouldn't be with. Not even you, Steve Goka. Like I said, I've had a very rough day. So eat your damn food alone. Everyone is going to pay. Where there is peace and understanding Is where love is our sacrifice Good morning Good morning sir, what can I do? I'm looking for Miss Lisa Peters Lisa, thank you so very much, I've seen you Hey, hi How are you? I'm fine What are you doing here? I came looking for an old friend. What are you doing here? I work here. That's what I'm doing here. That's true. The two companies are under the same group of companies, GFL. Yeah. Right. So who's this friend you're looking for? Lisa Peters. Oh, Lisa. I know her. But she doesn't work here anymore. What do you mean? She now works at the Corporate Affairs Division. You know, we kind of, I'm covering up for her here, so she's at my former office right now. Kella, are you sure everything's okay with you? You, you don't look too well. <sighs> I'm fine, really. Kella, what is wrong? I'm not fine. And it's thanks to Jake. Um, can we talk somewhere? Of course. What happened? 
Jake broke up with me. What? D did he give you any reason? No reason, nothing, nothing at all. He just said he needed time, time alone or something. Steve, I'm so sure Jake is in another girl. I'm very, very sure. How can he do this to me? Killer, he didn't tell me any of this. Listen, you have to realize that we can't always have the things we want. And you, you look like you need a doctor. Oh, no, I'm fine. Are you yeah. sure? I'm very fine. I'm fine, come on. Um, why don't I drop you off? I'm going on the same direction with you. Is that okay? Um, if that's okay with you. Look, it's not your fault, nor is it mine. Then whose fault is it? Nobody. Nobody. My love, you see that in such a short while, we will become inseparable. We met and we fell in love. So forget about Steve. If he truly loved you, he would have come looking for you. He only saw you because he stumbled into you. Of course. I'll never stay away from someone I truly love. Never. Don't let someone so irrelevant come destroy our chance of happiness. Take honestly, I don't know what to do. Look, don't fight oh. it, my love. Don't. I came back to finish what we started. I came back to be with the woman who stole my heart. Steve, do you think that you could, you could just go away for that long, almost a year, and you just walk in here and you expect everything to, to be as if nothing ever happened? Baby. Things don't happen that way, okay? It, it doesn't work that way. Look, I'm sorry for any pain I might have caused you. I'm so sorry. I, I, I mean, just remember the things we had, the good times we had. <laughs> remember when we used to jump on my back and we'd play horse riding and stuff like that? We had a great thing, Steve. baby. Steve! I'm sorry, but you lost me a long time ago. Honestly. Baby, please. Look, don't turn your back on true love. I cannot I, lie to you. I, I can't feel anything for you again. Baby, what we had was real. 
I'm in love with someone else. Are you in love with Jake? He's the man I want to be with. <sighs> if it makes you happy, that's fine by me. All I want is for you to be happy, even if it's Jake you want to be with. I just want you to know that I'll, I'll always be your friend. Take a taxi to the hospital. Eh? You're not feeling too well at all. Mom, I'm fine. You're not. I am. You begin to make me feel like a child. Really, I'm perfectly fine. I'm gonna drive myself to the hospital. Um, Mom, can you help me call Steve? To explain. What's the number? It's my phone. Kella. <sighs> I still think you should take a taxi. Eh? You cannot be fine while your legs are shaking. I don't know why you're stopping about taking a taxi to the hospital. Eh? Excuse me. Um, I have a friend who was brought here a few hours ago. A lady by name Keller. Okay, go upstairs. First floor, by the right, second room. First floor? Yes, by the right. Okay. Second room. All right. Good afternoon, ma'am. Uh, how is she doing? She's been like this since we got here. What exactly happened? It's what your friend Jake did. I know my girl will not abandon us. I know that. Um, Ma, let's just leave Jake out for this now, eh? Let's concentrate on how to get her better and out of here in no time. Don't worry, she'll be okay. Yes, I am convinced that God will make my daughter all right. I know she'll be alright. I know the God I serve. What's the meaning of this? Can't you knock? I hope you're happy now that Kayla's lying unconscious in hospital, on account of you! Look, if you've got something serious to say, you say it. If you don't, get out of my office. I've got work to do. When did you become so callous? I know you to be nasty, yes. But to treat a girl who loves you so much with such disdain is downright unacceptable. You care about her, right? If you want to make her feel any better, why don't you just take the plunge? Go ahead, marry her. What? Why are you throwing everything away? Everything you worked so hard for these years? Our friendship? Kayla? Look, my dear. What's happening to you? We are running out of control. What happened? But I want you to mark my words, what Jacob Jaja. One day you will come to your senses. And I will remind you of this very episode. Take that as a prophecy.
things of what he's doing. I love him as my brother, but he's treating me as if I'm an, I'm, I'm an enemy and I don't like, I can't take it. It's all right, Steve, it's all right. Um, Uncle Terry is still in Dublin. I'll call him and tell him that you'd like to stay in his house on the island. I'm sure he wouldn't mind. Thanks a lot, man. You're a lifesaver. It's all right. So how is Kella doing? Poor girl. She's still in the hospital. Um, but she's getting better though. I'll, I intend dropping by there on my way home. I see. Well, luckily I'll be in Lagos very soon. I'll be there on, uh, on an official assignment. I'll be there for like um, a week. I'll stop by and see you guys. That'll be wonderful. Okay, uh, Steve, I have to go now. Tap or no. You don't they chop on the cash with that app, which I know they tell me. <laughs> anyway, thanks, man. Did Jake give any reasons for his actions? Reasons? Did Clifford or Jake give any reason for her eating human flesh? Well, he said it was tasty and he enjoyed it. Exactly, the same thing here. I mean, Jake is just doing whatever pleases him without thinking of what the world thinks about what he's doing. I guess it's time we talk some senses to that boy's head. No, maybe you can try. I mean, I've done my best and he won't listen. Maybe he'll listen to you. Maybe. So what about Lisa? Apparently, her love for me vanished as soon as Jake came into the picture. As long as it makes her happy. Don't get me wrong, I want what's best for him. What I don't want is for him to see me as, 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 as if I'm the enemy. I mean, I should be the one being very angry here. Um, no worries, Steve. Let's just get to my uncle's place and drop my stuff. And then we'll go to Keller's place and then from then, we'll go and look for that stubborn boy that calls himself. Jacob, Jaja, whatever his name is. I still can't believe you're the one I'm seeing in flesh and blood. It's like a dream. Well, ma'am, um, can I didn't You're come. welcome. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Hey. I was saying I didn't come here to help you not join any self-pity. I want you to accept things the way they are and get back on your feet. Okay. Shake it off. For me, please. For all of us. Shake it right off and move on with life. I'll try. I'm sure you will. So how is work and life? Well, thank God, ma. That's good to hear. Steve, you're not saying anything. No. You look moody. Oh. What, what's wrong? This is not the time to be moody. Hmm? Let's all look on a brighter side. Kay is getting better. The doctor confirmed an over 40% step down in her blood pressure. So I think that's the good news. I'm sure, I mean, don't mind me, ma. I, I just had a long day. It's been quite stressful at work, that's all. Thank you. Let me leave you people <laughs> to catch up with old times. I'm in the kitchen and preparing pounded yam and the goosey soup. Mm. <laughs> wow, there's something good about homemade cooking, you know. <laughs> Look at you, man. Tabuna, is this really you? 
Come on, give me a hug. <laughs> <laughs> See how big you grow. Yeah, right. See who's talking. <laughs> what have you been eating? Well, nothing special. Just a bath on the yam and all the look. Yeah, right. I trust you. I'm bringing to Lagos, man. Well, I came on an official assignment. Then I decided to come around. I said, what use would a visit to Lagos be if I don't handle my guy? So, yeah, yeah. True, 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 true. So, um, hi, Lisa. How are you? Well, let's have some seats. Uh, yeah, let's have some seats. I'm happy that we're together again in this place. I'm happy that nobody is fuming with anger. I'm also happy that we have spent the better part of the night laughing, chatting, and having fun generally. But I mustn't fail to bear my mind on a very important issue. You see, the three of us have been best of friends since primary school. We've done everything together. We've eaten together. We've laid together. We've shared each other's clothes. We have virtually spent the better part of our lives together. It is therefore shocking and unbelievable that the two of you were willing to throw all that away because of a stranger. Yes, because as far as we are concerned, Lisa is a stranger. So tell me, why should we ruin our friendship because of her? Jake, I, I'm not trying to take sides here. But I just want you to know that what you did was very, very wrong. Why would you say a thing like that? I mean, this was the same girl Steve was lamenting about. Well, not before I met her. So what did you do when you found out? At that point in time, I and Lisa had something strong going on for each other. And at the same time, we went to do it. T. I hope you did not bring me to this forum to interrogate me on this no, issue. No, 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 not at all. Good. But then I still want you to understand one fact, Jake. Women will come and go. But your brothers will always be there for you. I believe Steve has something to tell you. <clears throat> Jake. Yes. I've always loved you like a brother. And what I'm going to say now comes from the depth of my heart. You say you love Lisa. Fine. You can go ahead and be happy with her. All I ask is that you make her happy. What I don't want is for you to treat me and see me as if I am the enemy. I have no qualms with you. That's all I have to say. Well, thank you very much. I'll be moving out of here. Uh, terminal here got me a place to stay. I feel um, I need a change of environment, just as you, I believe, need some privacy. I hope that's okay with you. Uh, that's fine. I mean, do whatever pleases you. I'm fine. Now, that wasn't bad, was it? Get up. Get up, Steve. Jake. Come on, man. Get up. Go ahead. <laughs> Steve. 
So how's Kay doing today? Kay is fine. And how is S doing? S is kicking just fine. Steve, I want to say thank you. Thank you so very much for taking me to the cinema the other day. I had so much fun. I should be thanking you for accepting to go to the cinema with me. Mm. You know, I was thinking, maybe I should go out more often. It's been long I had so much fun. Well, in that case, anytime you need a handbag to tag along with you, just remember Steve is always here. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, you're not a serious guy. Really? <laughs> so, any plans for this weekend? No, you got any plans? I could cook dinner for you this weekend. <gasps> you know, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Because it's that way I can get to see your new apartment. So, are we calling it a date then? <laughs> you can call it anything you want to call it, silly. But, don't forget, I'm a very heavy eater. Yay! That means I have to go all the way to Sokoto to buy a whole cow for you. <laughs> <laughs> You're not serious. Listen, I've got lots of work to do. I'm going to have to let you go. I'll talk to you later. Alright. Later. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, babe, uh, I have to be going now. Uh, Jake. <coughs> See? There's something I want to talk to you about. What? I want to thank you for uh, all the love and all the concern you've been showing me. Of course, you know, I'll do anything for you. I know. And that's the reason why I don't want it to look like I'm taking you for granted. You know, I was just wondering, instead of you two be dropping me off from work every day, don't you think it would be appropriate if I got my own car? A car of your own? Yeah, I mean, that way you don't have to go through the stress of picking me up from work and dropping me and all that, you know, and besides, I would be driving you around in my car. Sweetie, you know it's quite sexy, it's so romantic when you have your woman drive you around. I'm sure you know that. Um, I'll think about it. Thank you. I knew you would do it for me. Thank you, sweetheart. You're welcome. You know I love you. Hmm? I love you too. Oh, babe, I have to be going now, really. Mm. I, I have to be going, seriously. Okay, let me walk into my car. Thank you. I knew it. So, welcome to my humble abode. Wow, Steve, it's beautiful. Thank you. It's, it's wonderful. Did you buy it? No. Actually, it belongs to Tamina's uncle. Oh my god. You mean T got you this place? Yeah. There's been a real friend in need. I mean, he just got this place at such a short notice. That's so kind of him. So, where are the owners of the place? Well, actually, the owner lives in Dublin with his family. The mm. place was empty, so it made more sense for me moving down into this place. That's with his permission, of course. It's great, really. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I'm really going to like it. Hmm. But before I begin to like it, what's for dinner? That you are going to have to wait <laughs> and see. So while I get the table ready mm -hmm. and all the things ready, you will sit down here like a nice girl oh. princess and wait for me to finish. Are you sure you don't need any help? So you can take all the credits from me. Come on, I'm a woman. I wasn't thinking Thank of that. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. I'll pay myself. Careful. Alright then. <laughs> oh, hello, darling. Hi, Sunshine. Mm -hmm. How was your day? Lovely and yours. Oh, excellent. Aren't you supposed to be at work? 
Well, I took time to sort out some of my personal issues. Personal issues like what? Baby, you remember that car stuff I told you about? Yes. Good. I met this friend of mine that took me to this car dealer. Baby, they showed me this car that is so... It's so gorgeous, baby. It's a Toyota car, but it's... It's hey. love. Hey, hey, hey. Slow down. Slow down. You're seeing the car dealer already? Yeah. We only discussed about this car issue a week ago and I said I was going to think about it. Don't you think you're a little too fast? Should you say too fast? Baby, you know I need this car desperately. Besides, rainy season is almost here. Do you want me to be walking on the streets when the roads will be all muddy and flooded? Hey, hey, hey. Uh, I, I didn't say I wouldn't buy you the car, but you see... What are we arguing about, sweetheart? Or what? You know what I'll do? I'll get the driver to drive the car straight to your house and you check it out. But trust me, sweetie, you're gonna love this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sweetie, I have to go. Mm. I have to get back to the office. I'll call you. Alright? Thank you. going with Steve? First, we're going to eat something like dinner. <laughs> then we'll go see a movie. Hmm. I see. Mommy, I know what that sounds like. And if it is what I am thinking, there is nothing going on between Steve and I. Nothing. Yeah. Did I say anything? <laughs> Mother, you don't have to say anything. I know you. And anytime you say, mm, I know what that means. <laughs> Nothing. Anyway, Steve is a humble, decent and caring young man. He has a sense of direction and seems purposeful. What's the explanation for? Just go out there and enjoy yourself. <laughs> I'm happy you have put Jake behind you. Go out and experience a true love, my daughter. Mother, there is no true love. <laughs> Love you. See you later. Bye. <laughs> no, but really, that was a crazy movie and I had so much fun. That's good. You know, Will Smith is my man. Anytime. Really? I mean, that man never ceases. I mean, he's always delivering. Whether it be adventure, sci-fi, uh, comedy. What else? Uh, Romance. Uh, romance. <laughs> <laughs> He's my man anytime. You can see that again. Mm. So, you want something to drink? Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm perfectly full to the brain. Not even water. I don't think anything anymore. What? What? Just telling me as if something is wrong. What is it? Nothing. It's just, uh, you know. The thing is, I've had so much fun with you these past few months. Which is just inconceivable because I, I, I've never had this much fun with any other female at all. You, you just seem to radiate this life in you. And your eyes, they just radiate this light in them that I just can't explain. Steve. Please, let me finish. I don't know why it took me this long to realize this, but I am glad I have. I don't want you to think that I'm taking advantage of your past experiences. But the truth is, Kayla, I am in love with you. Funny enough, it's a connection I've felt for such a long time, but how could I even think of conceiving such a thought when the girl who's in my dreams is going out with my best friend. And I had to look for love somewhere else where I could find it, anywhere I could. You know, 
My mom used to say that everything happens for a reason. I never took her seriously. She was right. I do feel the same way about you too. I feel so safe, secure, and comfortable when I'm around you. I love you. that long face and you're saying nothing. How am I supposed to be happy when you never take me serious? How do you mean? Jake, I have been asking you for a car for over one month now and you have done nothing, practically nothing about it. For Christ's sake, you don't even care about my welfare or my safety in a city as rowdy and dangerous as this. Is that why you're behaving like a child? Oh. I am now behaving like a child, right? I've told you I think about this car. Right? Oh, you've yes. been thinking about this car for over a month now. Have you asked me if I have enough money for such an expense? Jake, you can afford it and you know it. Lisa, listen to me. I'm not ready to worry over one damn car. Oh, you call it a damn car, right? Oh, well, you can as well as have your damn bloody food alone. No! <laughs> Hi! Lisa. Look who we have here. Yeah, Hello. Oh, nice. I'm so hard. Come here, my lucky. Oh, look yes. who we have here. Okay. Hello. Hi, Jake. How are you? I'm fine. It's been a while, you know. Jake, you're not looking half bad. Man. Yeah, same here, same here. You're looking good too. <laughs> um, okay, you guys go have fun. No. Sweetie, let's go. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Mr. Adams, we did send the order. Yes, a month ago. End of month reports, yes. Well, I'll check on my computer, but it is... Uh, come in. I'll speak to you later. Jake! Please sit down. Oh, thank you. What a lovely surprise. So, what brings you to my office? So unexpectedly. I'm not here to beat around the bush. I actually came to have a man-to-man -man chat with you. So I'll go straight to the point. 
I'm all ears. I don't know what you think you're doing, but what you think is rather childish and permits me to use the word stupid as well. I don't follow you. You don't follow? Steve, what are you doing with Keller? I mean, both of you move around this town acting like lovebirds and fooling yourself as well. Jake, did you come all the way to my office just to insult me? I actually came to call you to order. Steve, I dated that girl in this town for five solid years. I'm sure... I'm sorry, but uh, you didn't seem to remember that when you jilted her for a girl I dated in Abuja for months. Well, that was Abuja and this is Lagos. So, Jake, yeah. Jake Hobbs, now listen to me. I want you to know that I really appreciate your concern over my relationships. But, as you can well see, I have a lot of work to do. So if you don't mind, good day. you lately and you've given me every reason to thank God. Why? And I want to thank you for giving yourself a chance to love again. Oh mom. <laughs> yes. Since you started moving with Steve, you've changed. Hmm? Everything about you has transformed for better. That is the blessing that comes with true love. <laughs> but I want to beg you for something. What? Please. Please. I want you to hold on to this. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Do you? Mm hmm Mom. Um, you know, sometimes I feel like I'm the luckiest girl on earth to have a mom like you. I promise. I won't let you down. Yes. I love you. I love you so much, daughter. I love you. I love you so much. You know? And I thank God for your life. Why are you so excited? Just guess now. You should guess who called me today. You, you always do this and you know I don't like suspense. Why? Ray! <laughs> Ray. Which Ray are we talking about? Ray want to call of course. Ray what? Okay. Are you serious? God. How did he get your number? I don't know. He just called me. He said he, he'd been trying to get my number. He sounds so different. I could not believe my ears. I was so up in the moon and... <laughs> so Raymond called you after all this while. I mean, I'm, it's... I'm serious. It's nice. Well, we, we really didn't have time to talk about so much like that. But he said he was going to call me back. That he just wanted to be sure that the number he had was mine. Girl, guess the most amazing part of the gist. Come on, you stand. Just finish it up. <laughs> He's coming up very soon. <laughs> How soon soon? Soon is soon! <laughs> okay. Well, I'm happy for you. Because I know that when he comes, the level will change. Of course now. Hello. 
Hello. Have a lovely day. Well, you see, I actually intend to, but all that totally depends on something else. I don't understand. Well, let's start first of all by knowing the name of this lady. So witty, so intelligent, and of course, so beautiful. Please, sir, as you can see, I'm busy. Good day. You see, the only way you can continue this your precious job is by telling me your name patiently. And I know that's what it's hard to remember. Please, mister. Can you see? I have all day, my darling. But I doubt if you do. So. Jessica. Jessica. Beautiful name for a beautiful lady. Well, Jessica. Jake owes you lunch. But not today, some of the time, so uh, I'll be seeing you around. Uh. Bye. to make right everything that went wrong. You see, for all the years you've suffered, I will make you enjoy five times and even more. See, I've got money and I want to spend it with you. You guys shouldn't forget me. Oh, oh come on, not at all, baby. <laughs> not at all. Yes, Alisa. You see, I want to take you back with me to Spain. Are you serious? I have the connection, you know, to speed up the arrangement for your documents. Uh, Lisa, when I say I've made money, I mean I've made money. <laughs> Lisa, please. I want you to be my wife. Will you please marry me? Yes! <laughs> oh. Maybe. Oh. You guys should follow me. <laughs> After I'm going, just leaving here. Don't worry, I'll get you out of the way. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, Willie, hi. Hi. Is Lisa home? Uh, no. Didn't she tell you she was traveling? Traveling? Yeah. To where? Um, she traveled to Port Harcourt for Uncle's bear. That's strange. How come she didn't tell me about this? And her phone has been switched off for two days. Oh, no, no. It's actually network, okay? Keep trying. I'm sure you'll get you. I tried, but no avail. Well, just in case you get through, you tell her that she should call me, okay? It's very urgent I talk to her. No problem, Alan. You have a nice day. Bye-bye. 
<laughs> no be only protagonist now, but no but my friend is in Madrid enjoying herself with a man of her dream who can spend real cash on her at this petty petty bank as pillar to boost. What's your problem? All I'm just asking for is a little date. Mr. Dada, I don't want to go on any useless date with you. As you can see, I'm very busy. And for the very last time, don't stand on my way again. Go off! If you will not go on a date with me, um, how about you giving Jake a kiss? Come on, kiss, 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 kiss. Stop! Stop! What's your problem? Just beg you, respect yourself. And if you get stand on my way again, you will see the other side. Stop it! You slap. And I will do it again. You slap. I will do it again if you cross my way again. I will slap you again. Don't ask me silly questions. I mean, how dare you slap? Jessica, what happened? He, he slapped me. You come to my office to assault my staff. It, it, it was a little mistake. A little mistake? He, 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 he was arresting me sexually. I'm going to arrest him. Sexual harassment? In my company? It was just a mistake. Sir. Mr. Jaja, you are ruined. That I can assure you. Sir, it, it wasn't like that. Believe me. Of course, sir. I'm telling the truth now. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Yes, Tony. Send me two of your boys immediately to Jessica's office. Now. Sir, sir. I'm going to make sure I deal with you. So you, you have to listen. By the time I finish with you, you'll be singing a different song. Jessica, come with me. Sir, sir. No, 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 no. Sir, sir. no. Hello, who is this? Ah, Jake. How are you doing? You at the police station? What for? Uh, Jake, uh, I'm sorry, I can't I can call him. I can't call him for you. I, I mean, if you can call me from your cell, you can as well call him. No, Jake, there's nothing I can do to help you right now. I I'm telling you, presently I'm dead busy here in Abuja. Yes. Okay, you know what, you know what, I'll help you call him later, okay? But I'm not promising anything. Yes, I'll call him. I'll call him for you, okay? You're the lucky one who's on leave. I have to be on the way to Oh, come on. And you're driving me to work. We won't have fun. You're at home. I am not facing that traffic. <laughs> you, okay. Tamuna. Please. Tamuna Teko Briggs. Now, what for you? Hmm. This one, when you call me this early morning, you see me for a dream. What? I'm gonna 
I'll drop you off here. Yeah, we'll be fine. Just here? Yes. All right. Because if you hadn't made a mistake, I wouldn't be experiencing true love today. I'm so glad you made that mistake. Don't be hostile to me, please. I mean, remember the good times we shared together. Jake? Jake, no, I have nothing against you, okay? I forgave you a whole long time ago. Nothing. Minutes. 